What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. Don't freak out. It's just me. I have brown hair today. <laughs> um, I, after, let's see, what was it? March, when I decided to go um, blonde, we had a, you know, pandemic happen, which closed all salons and it made a really inconvenient time to try to keep up with blonde hair. <laughs> um, as someone who has dark brown hair naturally. So um, after my past fail of trying to blonde it, keep it blonde myself, we went back to the natural <laughs> Jess. So until the things settle down in this world, we're gonna be brown. So, and I'm gonna embrace my true color because hey, that's me. And this journey is about loving everything about myself and I have brown hair and I like to typically, in years past, I would go brown in the fall, winter months, and then I'd go blonde in the summer. Um, but we're just gonna take that a step a few we're just gonna do that a little earlier this year and um, rock the brown so <laughs> so don't freak out it's me um, so anyways welcome to week 82 of my keto transformation um, this week I, it was a tough week for me and I've got lots to talk about in that um, but before we get started if you're new here and you want to see weight loss inspiration um, keto, how I do my keto, um, that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. I have lost 125 pounds with a ketogenic lifestyle and my entire YouTube channel is dedicated to my journey, how I got there and the good, the bad and the ugly. So if you like to see stuff like that, hit that subscribe button and if you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Um, so let's hop into the week 82. Oh, and quickly I want to tell you about the Perfect Keto Labor Day sale. Um, now is a good time to stock up because if you purchase five or more items, you get 35% off on your whole order. So um, for me, that's when I stock up the most because that's a big deal in savings. Um, it's like getting a couple items free um, when you calculate the savings. So um, I'm going to stock up on unflavored collagen i use it every day i will the bulk of my order will probably be collagen and then um of course whey protein powder i'm a little egged out right now after all the eggs i've been having lately so i've been doing protein shakes for lunch they're easy and they're quick and i can have them on the go um, and plus i like to bake a lot of my pumpkin goodies with the whey protein powder so and then if you're in between or you need something to get that next level of discount check out the nut butters. Those are great ways to um, get, you know, not spend so much and then be able to add, get to that 35% tier. Um, and then also I need a, I need another box of the Perfect Keto peanut butter cookies. <laughs> so anyways, now's the time to save. Um, the Labor Day sale um, lasts until September 9th. So don't be, don't, don't wait. This is a really good one. And I will post the link down below and you can get your shopping on and Stock up on your favorite Perfect Keto products. I haven't had a tough week emotionally in a while. And this past week, it was a roller coaster of emotions. Our, um, as you've probably seen, um, I didn't show up at all this week to make any extra videos. Thankfully, um, I didn't have any things that I had to upload daily, like for food and stuff like that. This month is a fitness challenge. So it allowed for a little bit of like time to regroup and to get refocused and that kind of thing. So my husband had hernia surgery on Tuesday. My birthday was Monday, hernia surgery on Tuesday. Um, and that went kind of, um, well, I should say my husband's had two hernias in the past three years. Um, the first one was a lot smaller and a lot less involved, I guess. So his recovery time was like two days, no big deal. Yeah, I mean, he took it easy for the full six weeks, but as for actually feeling good, feeling like yourself, it was a couple of days. This time around, wow, he has been so sore. This one was significantly bigger, um, and it came on a lot faster. The other one took a while to get big. This one, it, you know, a couple months, and it's huge. So um, he had a lot more scarring and all kind of damage in that area, so his recovery has been a lot slower literally taking every day by day you know that kind of thing um so that was in itself <laughs> managing the whole house with the husband that's now pretty much out of commission um that was tough then my kids went back to school on thursday in person and that was an emotionally exhausting day for me because we had been stressing for months 
about the the choice of whether we were going to do in-person virtual schooling so we ended up just doing the virtu the in-person schooling so then you know then the night before we're all set to go i'm like am i doing the right thing all the anxiety of all that thing and it's like so Thursday, me and my mom friends all went out and we celebrated with Mexican food because it was just emotionally a wreck for all of us. So <laughs> that was the first. So my eating this week, thumbs down overall. Um, I could have been a lot better. I'm going to give myself a C minus. I could have handled that better. I do want to give myself an A plus for fitness because I, regardless of the chaos that was going on, I still managed to walk and get my daily goal in so that I've got my 15 miles under my belt and then we have a fresh week and another 15 miles on my my to-do list for this week and now I felt like I wasn't going to mention um, my what I would consider my struggles this week because I didn't want to bring that vibe down it's a time right now where we kind of all want to feel good but it's also relevant in the journey every week's not going to go smoothly some weeks you're going to get put on your butt, other weeks you're going to smooth sail right down to the finish line. So that's part of the journey and I want you to embrace that part. Um, and for me, I want you to know that it's okay not to be perfect every week. What matters is consistency, not perfection. Um, so you know, I'm, I was beating myself up after, you know, Thursday when we went out to Mexican food. I'm like, why did I do that? I just, you know, I'm supposed to go get a DEXA scan and like, two, three weeks now, you know, why'd I do that? That puts me further behind, that gives me bloat again, that makes the cravings come back. Why did I do that? I gave in to the stress, but at the same time, like I still worked out. <laughs> I was good in all other aspects. I've managed to keep things afloat in this household um, single-handedly by myself. And it's just, it's just one of those things, you know what, you move on. It is what it is. So don't dwell on it and don't beat yourself up over it if that happens to you because it's going to every week is not going to be perfect so um so but what i was most proud about is i got those miles in regardless of what i ate i got my i moved my body and it felt so good and with that being said thanks for everybody who's been sharing their their accountability posts in my facebook group showing you either before your walk or after your walk you know whatever you're 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 doing just you're moving your body and i'm so proud of you so keep going Keep going, that's the way to move forward is you just keep going. Um, and that is, those little goals are gonna end up to big, big changes. So you may not see it now, but you'll see it in a month from now, six months from now, you will see it. As for week 82, even though my, my eating wasn't as, I had a lot of improvement that I could have done on my eating. I didn't have to have fajitas, I didn't have to do all that. But at the same time, you know what, I needed those fajitas. <laughs> And I was still okay with um, the living your life in between all of the extremes. And, you know, with my girlfriends, we just, it was worth every second of it. Um, but at the same time, you just get back on track the next day. So you don't sweat it. And um, that's the message I'm trying to bring home. Consistency over perfection. Today's a new day. I'm going to walk another three to five miles. My goal this week is 15 miles. And... Um, so I had a lot of people say, where's Jess? You know, is she okay? Well, this month's challenge is a move your body challenge. So I didn't feel like I needed to post my food too because the focus is more on moving your body um, and smashing those goals, whether it be something um, like running to swimming to cycling to yoga to whatever it is to just cleaning your house. Um, so it's more based off of that versus what I ate in a day type foods. However, I am filming what I'm having all, you know, throughout the week and I'm just going to put, you know, it's a whole week of lunches, a whole week of dinners and I'll pop that in one video, um, towards the end of the week or something so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but as for daily videos right now, um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break off of the daily videos because I feel like I was drowning. <laughs> And I know timing wise it was so horrible because I'm really not the best at planning anything. I'm not a planner. I'm not a planner by nature. I like to wing it and you can't wing it. <laughs> and you're trying, you know, like I just, that was a fail. So I had done like 60 days worth of eating videos between the June challenge of the clean 30 and the total 20 challenge. So the total carb challenge. And I was just like burnt out. So I had to take some days to breathe. And that's another point I want to drive into this video you can't pour from an empty cup 
I was getting burned out. Granted, a lot of stuff's going on right now and it wasn't the best time to throw in another, you know, daily type video challenge with kids teaching them in school, you know, husband having surgery, you know, everything else in life. <laughs> So um, I would have, in, in hindsight, I would have just picked a better month to do that in. It would have probably been better to do it this month than do the physical challenge last month. But hey, we live and learn and we move on, right? So, um, so this month is a little bit more laid back. You're not going to see quite so many videos. But the videos that I do put out, I want to emphasize more on. It's good content. So watch them. I promise. <laughs> so I'm going to do a lot more um, emotional, the emotional sides of a weight loss journey type videos this month that I feel like there's been a big opportunity where I've had ideas come to my head about you know what I'm going through and it would make great video topics a lot of people um, joined my or subscribed to my channel a long time ago is because I add the emotional side of the weight loss in it um, I'm not gonna be your shrink or anything but I'm just gonna describe what I'm going through mentally when you go through a journey like this the struggles there's a lot it's not all it's not all roses. There's a lot that goes on when you change your body and you rewind your health from morbidly obese to a healthy weight. So I have a lot more of those type videos coming this this month because I'm not focusing so much on filming what I'm eating in a day. So um, I hope that clarifies everything and I hope that everybody is enjoying the September challenge. Move your body, no excuses, because you know what? If I would have eaten like I did last week and I didn't exercise as well, I probably would be really wrecked this week. You know, emotionally, physically wrecked. You know, like I feel like you, you at least if you're moving your body and you have some cheat days or plan cheat days or just slip up meals, it's like at least you have that release of the exercise where you're not completely feeling bad about what you just did or something like that or you failed. It's, you know, at least there's still something to be proud of. So um, don't just rely on eating um, as the only gauge of success or a loss in the scale is the measure of success. It doesn't work that way. Don't focus on that kind of thing. Focus on the positives. And the positives were you rocked it, you moved your body, and you got that done. And yeah, you could have been better in the eating department, but you know what? You move on. There's nothing, to do about, uh, you, there's nothing you can do about it now, so don't dwell on it. As for the weight loss, I am up a pound from my indulging, so I'm back up to 184. Um, but it's okay, you know, it's it's part of the process. I feel like I've been stuck at 184 or the 180s for like ever. <laughs> um, but you know what, it's okay. It's still better than 309 pounds. You know, like I changed my life. It's just, it's just nitpicking at this point. So yeah, I'm close to my goal weight. Yeah, it'd be great to say, hey, I've made my goal. But at the same time, it's like, doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I already changed my life from the progress that I've done. I will still get to that, that goal line. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I am going to, I'm already dressed in my Yvette sports bra. <laughs> I love this one. I am already ready to go. I'm just gonna throw a tank on and I'm gonna go get my five mile walk in and get my head clear and get me focused for this week and also, I, I have been working on my push-ups. I took a video of the first day, or what, September 1st, of me doing push-ups. And I'm gonna compare that video to day 30, after doing 30 push-ups a, a day, to see what progress um, these arms are gonna get. So I already feel so much tighter. <laughs> I guess my body is like, whoa, you haven't done push-ups in a while. So um, yeah, so, and I'm still trying real hard to get my pull-up. <laughs> still haven't been able to do one but maybe by the end of this month maybe I'll be able to do a pull up so anyways I'm Jess you're watching Keto Rewind and yep it's me even though I got brown hair <laughs> I will see you at the next video go be great bye bye